What's up everyone, Dr. D here and in this video we're talking about MFC number 701. Now this is also MFC 718 which is going to get a little confusing so I'm going to take this video as a way to briefly explain to you uh, what I've been talking about for some time now. So after I crossed uh, 700 I am uh, deciding that uh, going forward I'm going to be including my double expert challenge MFCs in my total MFC count. Most people already do that so I figure I might as well do, uh, do that. If you're ever curious about what my single number is you should always just uh, visit my master uh, MFC document uh, spreadsheet. It will have both listed as what it was for single, double, or overall. So anyways, uh, 718, 701, whatever you want to go, it's fine. So this was Toy Box Factory level 14. I was the first person in the world to MFC this. So we're going to talk about uh, how I ended up getting it and I'm going to share all the tips and tricks and the video is going to be as long as it needs to be because a lot of you always like it to be longer from what I understand. And yeah, I hope you guys like these again. I know it's been a while since I've done a real good breakdown, but expect a few more coming up. All right, so Toyback Factory is a 14, and uh, it's a 14 this day in particular. I want to say I flagged it four different times, and uh, I kept making a joke all day that like I didn't, I was not in the mood for it, but it was a day that I knew I could get it. So I guess that's like the first tip: is don't necessarily go well it's not exactly fun this way but maybe what you should be doing is not what you want to be doing so I'll use this song as an example I was not in the mood for this song at all however after playing it a few times I knew I could get it so I just stuck with it until I got it because I knew that plenty of other times uh, I usually screw up especially early on for some reason like before I really got the the beat I always get like a fast or slow perfect in the first 50 steps but today I was very consistent at that and I was able to uh, hone the other places that I was lacking and nail it. Alright so I'm just going to tell you and yes I did make a, a fundamental change of how I play the song and that basically made me be able to get it today and don't worry I will tell you what the fundamental change that I did was and yeah it's very pivotal. Pivotable? That is not a word. Pivotal pivotal to uh, finding success. So we're going to go through the entire song and I'll break down what's going on. So the first part starts off pretty easy. 
So follow me. Bump, bump, bump. All right, now this is the first trick that I do. As a lot of you know, I always talk about right foot dominant. Whenever I say that, that always means that I'm trying to force my right foot to the top. Uh, personally, and if you're a left foot dominant person, then by all means do the opposite of what I'm trying to say. But I'm purposely trying to make sure that my right foot is going to be on the up arrow for this upcoming down, up, down, up, down stream, uh, mini, uh, whatever you want to call it. So. So here's where I'm going to start doing it. So let's look. At how did I do that? So there's the up arrow here. And I do hit that with my left. But then I do this. So in fact, they want you to do a crossover where you're going to be hitting with your uh, left. Or sorry, with your right foot first. But I purposely swing my left foot to make sure that I do the stream there. And then yes, if you do do this, you are going to have to cross over here. But... I'm walking through it, so you can see I'm letting go of the freeze because I'm 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 walking through the freeze right now. All right, man, I can't tell you how many times I get perfects in that early part, but I was uh, for whatever reason I was getting it. All right, now the other most likely part that I would get perfect are these, and this is the fundamental change that I did going into today, and I've implemented it plenty of other times, but it just it really paid off this time and it's simple you see these uh, gallops da -dun, da -dun. yeah I'm not doing that I'm doing da -da 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 -da. watch I throw in a helper step between all of these yellows so just like how this has no break so there's a there's a break here yeah I'm not taking a break I'm doing uh, stream throughout all of these I noticed an immediate improvement when I did this if uh, I was like nailing every single one of them so uh, that's like my big secret is uh, that once again so it's just gonna be dun 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 that's what I'm doing for every one of those so the only other thing to be mindful about there's a lot of uh, like times where like you're gonna hit that and like if you hit it wrong you might uh, be having a bad setup for the next arrow that's going to come. All right, now here's a so we're out of that first part, and it's going to basically repeat itself at the end of the song. But now we're in this part that only happens once. So uh, this is a gallop where I do a foot switch. So I gallop down, and then I use the down to to jump up to give me lift to uh, nail this one. So I do the switch right there. All right, nothing. And then we're going to do it again, but it's the opposite. But once again, on my right foot for this up arrow, I'm going to use that to lift myself off to do a, a, a pivot right there. And then, of course, if you see, it, it is and is not good, depending on uh, how you prefer it. Because by doing this, I'm forced to do a double step here. You see? So I was forced to do a double step there because of what I ended up uh, doing. Now, you could have crossed over, but honestly, like... I always say, like, whatever you're better at ma if you can cross over that gallop, like, do this, and then hit that, by all means, do that. But if you uh, do what I do, uh, I, turn, I tend to have a better MA if I do that. All right, now here's another part where I'm going to be right foot dominant. Now, this setup, like, you see it, it's, a, it's an up-down jump. Normally, this kind of setup wants you to use, because you're going to be jumping with your right foot here and left foot here and most people their inclination is to use their right foot to hit that down it's just it's just how it feels you know because you're reading your right foot here to do the up so then when you do that you feel the inclination to use your right foot I'm not going to do that I resist the inclination and I throw my left foot at the bottom this is the same reason why in the very beginning why I wanted to be my right foot on top so I can hit this one here and yes I'm drilling through it I am not going to so you can see that however okay this part is really tricky so I do that and it pays off but immediately this part is going to bite you in the ass because one I have to jump and then I have to quickly throw my left foot up here and then I have to position to there so they really do want you to use your right foot to hit that first down but 
Because if you did that, you'd be set up perfectly for this. But since I don't, I have to pay for it later. I'm not sure if I've ever talked about this before, but usually, if you like, if you cheat once, you gotta cheat twice. And by that, I mean that like if you go against what you're supposed to do, you're gonna have to go against uh, what you're currently doing to get back on track. So like they wanted me to use my right foot on the down, I didn't. So then later I'm going to have to pay for it by doing a double step to set up for this one right here. So that's just in general a uh, good rule of thumb. Just like if you do a double step somewhere, chances are you're going to have to do two. They always come in pairs. So keep that in mind. Once again, just drilling through it and doing it all. All right, now this part's uh, it's pretty much a give me. It, there's nothing too much here. This goes to the music. Oh no, indeed. All right, so this is probably the most iconic part of the song. This is the drill, which I don't even know how many. So it's at 202, and it goes until until like 51. So it's like 49 steps, something like that. All right, so 49 steps. How do you drill 49 steps and get all marvelous? Well, I just showed you it's possible, but do I have any tips or is it just pure talent? Good news, I actually do have a tip. <laughs> I have a very good tip. Uh, this is uh, something I've used a lot and hopefully this helps you out. It's a little hard to explain, but I do think if you can learn to master this, you're going to find in general whenever there's a... Uh, I know it's not the correct term, but I always call these monogamous steps. Monogamous, like they're just like two pairs, they're always together, you know? I call these kind of things monogamous steps. I don't know. If someone has a better name for it, please let me know. Alright, so how do you do monogamous steps and get, get a marvelous? So here's my secret. My secret is this. My eyes are a hundred percent focused here. I am only focused on the right arrow at this part. Unfortunately my camera is not good enough for you to really know that but I am so focused on the right foot arrows. Now why? Well I know that I can line these up. I can line these up easily. So I always use this as my baseline, where I know that each one of these, which you can kind of see that these are a lot more. Uh, hmm, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. We're, we're doing this live. We're, I'm gonna hope that that my 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 uh my thing can be proven here. So we're gonna slow this the way down. Okay, let's take a look. All right, they're all like within a frame, so. Maybe not the best example. It's totally not annoying at all. But I was hoping that I would I would have seen more irregularities on the left side, but apparently I'm not. And the reason why I thought I might have is because I know I'm just focused on getting these. Like this is my prime target. All right, so if that's my prime target, well, how do I end up actually um, getting the downs then? Well, then that comes to audio. So, use. So we're we're doing two things. We're using this as our visual cue, and then you just you should know by now. Well, if you're at this kind of level, you should just know. Just think about like a drum beat. You know, something like that. I can't I can't do this, but you get what I'm saying. You know how it should sound. So if you visually just match this and then you just know that it has to be an even transition every time you hit that, you're going to notice that you can improve it tremendously. So use one of them and then just know that like, you don't have to look at this. You already know what it is. All right, There's only two arrows. You know one, you know the other. So you don't have to look at this one. Most people would be like looking at all of this, but no, I'm looking at just this and I'm making sure that I'm spacing it out. All I know is that my left foot has to be evenly spaced in the right. That's all I know. And by doing that, I'm able to uh, keep the marvelous. Uh, this one is a bit harder though than uh, normal. One is because I don't like down and left. <laughs> I almost threw it on mirror. Um, and 
two, the music isn't exactly the most helpful in this part. I mean, yeah, it's got a lot, da -da 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 -da, but I, I would have preferred something better than this. And you might also notice that I'm actually flat footing this. I'm even hitting on the metal here. I feel a lot more of the timing. Usually I'm like really like, you know, like, you know, wedging my feet to get this kind of stuff, but not for here. For here, I purposely, uh, I, I like to, and you can see I'm like, uh, it should go without saying, I'm, I'm helper, I'm helping, uh, helper stepping all this part, so. So I helper step to it, and then I just go into it. I'm really hitting the metal hard here, so I like really feel, I really feel like uh, my foot making the connection to the pad, you know, kind of feeling the, the base as well. Okay, and actually probably the hardest part is the transition out of it. So this is like the hardest transition, but you have to hit that and then you have to immediately change to uh, doing a quarter note, or sorry, an eighth note. And if you can get that, uh, basically the entire ending has already been uh, shown. There's maybe one or two tricks. So let's just play it out and I'll, I'll stop it if I need to. Once again, this whole part, da -da 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 -da, I'm going through all those. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Like I said, this is a repeat. Um, I'm double stepping and go stepping the shit out of even freezes. All right, there's gonna be one trick here, and I really hate it, but I'll I'll teach you. Uh, I know that looks hard, but I mean that's even easier than brilliant to you, AKBK. So I don't really have much to say about that. <laughs> All right, this part's annoying because like you're so used to doing like uh, you know, like you you do it and then you come out of it, but now it's finally doing the like traditional kind of gallops. So it's kind of annoying. But here's the part that I hate. This. Oh my god, I hate this part. Oh god. Alright. So, because you have to be on your... You know, obviously you know how you have to hit that. But here's the problem. I foot switch here. Because otherwise you got to swing your left foot to the top, which is pretty uncomfortable. Now, if you do that... So, okay, let's use my logic from before. Since I'm going to foot switch, I'm going to have to... Well, I don't have to pay for it later because I foot switch, but like if you were to use this with your right foot, you'd cross over and then you'd be, well, part of my French, you'd be fucked. So the other way that you you can either throw your left foot to the top here, and then you can play this out, or two, you can use your right, but then you have to lift yourself off and foot switch into that. But no matter what, no matter what, make sure you hit this jump with your left foot on... Well, okay, mm, that's that's not what I was thinking was going to happen. Okay, hold on, it must be another one. Did I miss it? I did. Okay, I guess that is it. Just you got to remember that. Yeah, that's the part that'll trick you up, uh, trip you up if you're not prepared. All right, then the ending is a little hard because the music's not really like kicking at this part. I'll tell you this, it feels a lot slower than, I mean, it should all be the same BPM, but like, I, I feel I have to go a little bit slower to make sure I get these. You can see me winding up, and basically it's a repeat of the other one, except even shorter. So, from 83 until 500, which is just going to be uh, 17 steps. So if you can do the other one, you should be able to do this. Yes, it's on the up and left. It's a little bit more annoying for most people, but overall, it's uh, it's definitely doable. Just same thing applies. Um, fun fact, I didn't miss this one time out of all my attempts that day, so I'm pretty locked on this part. Once again, hitting the metal real hard, really trying to feel it, really trying to feel. 
you can like really see me put some force in there so I can feel like because like just think about if you were playing a drum even if you don't play drums I mean if I ever pick up drum six and I'm on a drum like bah, 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 you know you know how that feels you know when the tempo is even and you're doing it and that's all you're trying to recreate with your feet and if you have to plant it a little bit more firmly and flat to get that feeling you can get it and then just use the visual cue like obviously here I'd be using it on the left so I'm just looking at the left I know that this has to go in the middle I'm just looking at the left and that's it and if you do that you can MFC Toy Box Factory <laughs> alright well even if you can't MFC it I hope that this video which is pretty freaking long is going to be able to help you out to improve your Toy Box Factory song and yeah, that's all I got to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the tips and tricks. And uh, if you like these long videos and you stuck till the end, your code this time is going to be 6969. So if you type that in the comments, I know you watched it until the very end. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. If you like what I do and want to be notified whenever I upload or go live, subscribe and hit that bell icon. If you really love me, consider pledging on Patreon to enjoy exclusive benefits. Lastly, keep the DDR discussion going by joining my Discord community linked below. Thanks again, and peace.